Josh Frydenberg believed the commuter vote was critical to his re-election in 2019. The federal treasurer secured four train station car parks for his Kuyong electorate under a controversial $660 million program. It started being initially termed as being um, top 20 marginals. The Auditor General found the Urban Congestion Fund to be no more than a pork barrelling exercise in must-win seats for the Liberal Party, masterminded in the offices of Scott Morrison and Minister Alan Tudge. 47 car parks were promised under the scheme. Not one was selected by the Infrastructure Department and more than three quarters of the projects were in coalition-held electorates. Treating taxpayers' funds as if it was Liberal Party funds. Now, with the next election just around the corner, the Treasurer's enthusiasm for the program has been derailed. In the face of local hostility, he's axed all four park-and-ride projects. Josh Frydenberg conceding a public consultation process generated significant local feedback, while insisting the Urban Congestion Fund remains an important part of the government's plans to get more cars off the roads and to make public transport more accessible. The Treasurer's office only releasing the statement hours after a flurry of morning TV appointments. The rorting that has gone on, it's one of the reasons why we need a national anti-corruption commission. Under the cover of devastating floods and a war in Ukraine, Josh Frydenberg's chosen his moment carefully. Cancelling the car parks pockets a cool $65 million, but the money is certain to be rinsed, recycled and repurposed ahead of the election. After all, cash and campaigning go hand in hand and the budget's a very big barrel that'll soon start rolling again. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.